OnePlus 6 versus Google Pixel 2 XL. It's the speed you need with the OnePlus 6 versus the camera you can't ignore and the updates for three years on Panda Boy over here on the right. So in this video, it's an honest feelings video. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is explain to you my honest feelings between both of them. It's subjective and I'm gonna tell you personally which phone I found to be the better device overall. This might help you make a decision in purchasing one of these two devices. Now, first thing we should talk about is that price gap because the Pixel 2 XL comes in at a whopping $849 here with tax, with cases, with screen protectors. This is basically a thousand dollar phone. So you better bring out the money back if you're gonna buy it from the googlestore.com. However, you should keep in mind that the Pixel 2 XL can be found on third parties like Swappa and eBay for in the $500 price range, which puts it on par with the OnePlus 6, which comes in in the $500 price range. For 256 gigabytes on the OnePlus 6, you will get yourself $629 out the door, but you do have taxes. You do have to get a case for the OnePlus 6 if you want one. They do include one in the box, but that one's kind of flimsy. So you're looking at around 700, maybe a little bit under for the best OnePlus 6. For the cheapest one, you can get a case and you know the OnePlus 6 for under 600. So good deal here for a brand new OnePlus 6 you might find a slightly used one for the same price of the Pixel 2 XL if you want it in that $600 price range. This one I personally got on Swap, and look at that condition. It's perfect. So definitely recommend it. Anyway, let's begin with the first thing, which is their key specifications. I'm going to run through some of the basic ones, the ones that matter. 6.28 inch display here, 1080 by 2280 pixel resolution. We have a 16 plus 20 megapixel camera on the rear. Shoots in 4K 60, something the Pixel 2 XL does not do. This is the 8 gigabyte of RAM version and it does have 128 gigabytes of storage. This is the $579 model. 3300 milliamp hour battery and I do want to mention that just because it's 6.28 inches because of the notch it goes up here to the top so it's not fully a 6.28 inch display in my opinion. It's more like a 6 inch display with a little extension there up at the top. Like the Galaxy S9 and the Note series are those are true 6.3 inch displays. This is more like a 6 inch with just this little extra extension at the top. Because when you watch a YouTube video, it doesn't extend into this portion just yet. It might in Android P with the update to notch support, but currently it feels more like a six inch display. Over here on the Google Pixel 2 XL, you do have a true six inch display, no notch on board. So depending on how you feel about the notch, this might be your choice right off the bat. This has a 1440 by 20, 880 pixel resolution so this thing is much higher in the resolution than the one plus six and that resolution does play a role when we are talking about sharpness of that text now you can say all you want about the blue tint with the pixel 2 xl it hasn't bothered me one bit after getting used to the display also you do have yourself the colors mode which brings you to the saturated mode which was a much needed update and the display is very enjoyable and sharp on the pixel 2 xl now 12 megapixel camera on the rear 2160p recording 4k 30 and it can it does have four gigabytes of ram and snapdragon 835 with 35 20 milliamp hour battery this guy over here does have the snapdragon 845 so it does have the processor improvement over the pixel 2 xl and those are the key specifications that really matter when deciding to pick one up okay so let's talk about the design and the build of the one plus six you're talking about a glass back with a kind of a humped camera there you also have the headphone jack on this guy and you have that notch design on the front so you know it's got a mashup of a galaxy s9 plus iphone 10 a little bit of pixel in the soft where it's a mashup phone in my opinion but overall i don't really like glass backs too much because of the fingerprint but they do feel very premium there's no wireless charging here which makes it you know kind of pointless to have a glass back but maybe it's just for aesthetics and maybe you like them aesthetics this phone weighs 177 grams so it's pretty light and it does have gorilla glass so that's pretty good as well it does have an aluminum frame around the sides, no IP67 or IP68 rating for this device, but it does give you that nice silent switch on the body, which I think a lot of people do appreciate 
about the OnePlus devices. So overall, I think it's a classy, clean design. Definitely looks premium. I just think that, you know, you do miss out on wireless charging here. And also, it's kind of like, you know, that's not really unique to put a notch on your phone. And we all know what I'm talking about there. Let's get on to the Pixel 2 XL. The design that nobody really thinks stands out too much, but a lot of people think is unique, including me. I think this phone is a very unique design. It's a conversation starter in that people might say, what is that phone that you are using? It might be quite surprised to know that that is a Google made device. Actually, LG built this, but this is a Google branded device so you can say this is my google pixel 2 xl it has a glass insert at the top plasticky feel on the back but it's more of an aluminum it's actually aluminum coated in a plastic feel so overall it feels sturdy strong and the more practical day-to-day -day phone that you wouldn't mind dropping on the table versus this one you might get scratches all over the back of that glass although the oneplus has been holding up quite well the pixel 2 has a more square design and i think that the oneplus 6 definitely has the more comfortable design in the hand definitely over the pixel 2 xl but the pixel 2 xl has this uniqueness about it that i really enjoyed overall if i had to choose one of them i probably would choose the pixel 2 xl here just because it didn't really follow the industry by you know making a notch it kind of stands out as its own but at the same time this phone came out before the iphone 10 it was already being in design before the iphone 10 came out so if we see a notch on the pixel 3 that opinion might change but for now i do like the pixel 2 xl design more than that of the oneplus 6 that's my personal opinion but if you're looking for a comfortable design you'll want the oneplus 6 if you're looking for a more unique design you'll want the pixel 2 xl I should also mention that the Pixel 2 XL is slightly lighter at 175 grams and it does support water resistance at IP67 and that is pretty good over this device. It also doesn't support wireless charging, however, and there's no headphone jack on this design for the Pixel 2, but it does give you dual speakers, something you don't get for the OnePlus 6. You get a single mono speaker here and that's one of the corners they had to cut to get this phone down to the price point it's at. All right, guys, so let's talk about the software. Here on the OnePlus 6, you do get Oxygen OS 5.1.5. I think it's updated to 5.1.6. I haven't seen it yet on my phone, though. 8.1 Oreo. And, you know, a lot of people might buy this device because it's less than a Pixel 2 XL, and it gives you a very similar software. And that is true. However, it's a little bit more feature-rich than the Pixel 2 XL in that it gives you a little more customization over the UI. So you have, you know, the ability to swap your buttons with just gestures you can change them around you could bring them down you have all these actions with those buttons you also have you know um, theming you could theme this to a dark theme which you don't have on the pixel series just yet in display settings you have a little bit more control of your display like one or two more modes than you do on the pixel 2 xl you have the ability to hide the notch or keep the notch but you know just because you hide the notch doesn't mean it's not there it still kind of appears in your visual sight sometimes so it still has a notch, but you can remove that if you want to. You have the default theme, dark theme, like I talked about, different accent colors. We go on the font sizes. That's the same as the Pixel. But overall, there's just a little bit more that you can do with this device versus the Pixel 2 XL. And that little bit more includes things on the home screen, like the ability to go ahead and change your icon size right on the fly. So if we go to icon packs, you can change the packs. And then you can also change the size of those right here, home screen layout, columns, and sizes. So this makes it a different experience over the Pixel 2 XL, and it gives you a little bit more control. And some people might like that, especially Android people who always love to customize their devices. I think the OnePlus 6 will be the better software if you're really into customization. Now, the Pixel 2 is Google software, and it's its baby, this phone. So this phone does run a very clean, very bare bones operating system and a lot of people will enjoy the minimalism that is on board with the pixel 2 xl and i really enjoy it as well now i find myself missing a feature or two from both of them when i'm on both so i miss the minimalism of the pixel 2 xl when i'm on the one plus six although the one plus six is very minimal i like the pure google feeling of the pixel 2 xl and i like that it's just a little cleaner to me than oxygen os and it also has a little bit of a smoother feel it's really hard to show on camera but the way that it actually operates is about the same in speed but to the eye it just feels a little bit more fluid on the pixel 2 xl it's really hard to show this on camera you would actually have to use both devices so if you want speed get the one plus six but if you want that performance that feels very fluid you're going to really want 
the Pixel 2 XL here. So that's how I feel about both of them. When it comes to software, if I only had to choose one, I choose the Pixel 2 XL because of the faster updates and the longer term support that Google will give you with the Pixel 2 XL. So for me, software is a win on the Pixel 2 XL, but the OnePlus 6 gets quite close to a Pixel if you want a Pixel and you're on a budget. So quickly, I want to discuss performance. You might be wondering, what is the difference between a Snapdragon 835 and the 845? And honestly, there's not much of a difference at all at this point, I don't think that most applications are taking full advantage of the 845, but longer term, the 845 will have more power than the 835. The Google Pixel 2, however, is very, you know, optimized. So the 835 runs almost the same as the 845. So if we go into calendar, for example, three, two, one, you can see the performance nearly identical on both. Let's go into clock. You can see maybe slightly on the one plus let's go into calculator. You can see, I mean, this performance is almost the same. So, you know, maybe a slight midgen faster, smidgen faster on the OnePlus 6. If we go into Instagram, you could see about the same. So performance is slightly faster for the OnePlus 6. If we go into the multitasking, you're not going to see too much of a difference. However, with the eight gigabytes of RAM, the likelihood of the Pixel 2 XL choking on multitasking many, many apps is going to be first. So like I say, if you want the strongest performance, that's still the OnePlus 6 here all day, every day over the Pixel 2 XL. But I still think that the 2 XL just feels a little bit more fluid and it's a little bit more visually pleasing to look at than the animation style and just the overall smoothness of the OnePlus 6. But the OnePlus 6 is incredible for the price. Okay, so talking about their battery life differences. Now, I've used both of these extensively on the day to day and I could tell you right now that their battery is not that much different. However, for battery life, I would choose the Pixel 2 XL. It has a larger battery capacity and it also has better standby time than the OnePlus 6. However, both of these will get you through one day. I think some people can go 1.5 on the Pixel 2 XL. Now, one area where the OnePlus 6 crushes the Pixel 2 XL is in its dash charging capabilities. This thing that they include in the box, the brick of dash charging is so fast that you basically can go take a shower, you know, do your thing in the bathroom, put your phone on charge. When you come back, this brick will have you back up an incredible amount of power. Now there's only one other phone that charges faster than the OnePlus 6 and that is the Huawei P20 series with their supercharging abilities. But the Pixel 2 XL gives you fast charging as well, but it's nowhere near as quick as dash charging. So if you want fast charging, get the OnePlus 6. If you want the longer lasting battery, which is what I would definitely choose, get the Pixel 2. Unfortunately, both of them do not support wireless charging. At the bottom, they both will support the standard USB-C, which is pretty great. So overall, battery is close, but slight edge goes to the Pixel 2 XL in my experience. You wanna know actual screen on time. I get about six hours on the Pixel 2 XL, maybe five and a half, where I'm getting like five even for the OnePlus 6. So that's basically what I've been getting in terms of the actual screen on time. Now I wanna bring up storage because the Pixel 2 XL offers a 128 gigabyte model, but it doesn't go up to the 256 gig you can get on the OnePlus 6. However, what I do wanna mention is that the Google Photos on the Pixel 2 XL works the best out of any Android phone I've used. And it also gives you high resolution unlimited storage on this device. You get unlimited Google Photos for the OnePlus 6, but they're not high res like they are on the Pixel 2 XL. And I don't find myself ever running out of storage on the Pixel 2 XL, even with a 64 gig model. It's very efficient at its storage with smart storage. So just because it doesn't offer 256 gig doesn't automatically give the win to the OnePlus 6. But if you do want physical storage, you want the OnePlus 6 because it can give you a higher capacity. But if you care more about software storage like cloud storage and you know things like that, the Pixel 2 is the way to go. For me, I personally like the smarts of the Pixel 2 XL, how it you know has high res photos that are constantly syncing very smoothly and efficiently in the background. So I do like the storage abilities on the Pixel 2 XL a little bit better. It just seems to work better because if you ever miss them photos or lose them, you know that Google's got your back here with your Pixel 2 XL. Same could be said for the OnePlus 6, but they're not gonna be in that high res format if you ever wanna print them and things like that. So for me, storage goes to the Pixel 2 XL, but if you want that actual more physical storage on your phone, then you got to go with the OnePlus 6 because it will give you more 
physical storage on the phone itself. Okay, so I wanna take a quick second to talk a little bit more about the display. The display on the OnePlus 6 has a very high screen to body ratio of 83.8. So if you're looking for that closer to all screen design, you're really gonna love the OnePlus 6. But what I don't really like is the notch on this phone. However, because you can hide it, it's not too much of a big deal here. I would like to see, you know, a fully all screen phone. I think we're all waiting for that, but for now, if you don't like it, you can hide it on this device. Now the OnePlus 6, I do really like the calibration on this phone. I think it's fantastic the way they've done the colors up on this phone. Very beautiful colors on this device and you can make them a little bit more vibrant or you can make them P3, which is super nice on the eye. So I think that the overall display quality is amazing for the OnePlus 6, but its sharpness is just not there at the level of the Pixel 2 XL. But I think most people might like the design a little bit more on this display. I personally think the Pixel 2, due to its resolution, gives it the slight edge. It's a little bit sharper on the whole. And with the introduction of the ability to go ahead and make this display boosted in the colors section. So if we go to colors, you can put it on saturated. This really changed the game for the Pixel 2 XL. So if resolution's your thing, the Pixel 2 is your way. If you like design of display, I think you get a little bit more display here for the OnePlus 6, you might wanna go there. For me, I personally would be happy with either, but again, I'll just take the Pixel 2 XL because of its resolution over you know the slightly more screen to body ratio. But I am looking for a more all screen design for the Pixel 2, that would, or a Pixel, the upcoming Pixel, that would be nice as well, as long as they don't put a notch, but I think they might. Okay, so let's talk about cameras quickly. Now, you can see single camera lens on the Pixel 2 XL, dual camera lens, on the OnePlus 6, don't be fooled by just having a dual camera that doesn't make it a better camera over the Pixel 2 XL. Now this doesn't actually have the 2X optical, this 2X is more of a digital 2X, so having the dual camera for that reason is not the big deal here with the OnePlus 6. It actually helps a little bit with low light photography on the OnePlus 6. So for me, this phone has one of the best softwares on any camera phone right here, the OnePlus 6. It's super clean, super easy to use. I actually like it more than the one on the Pixel 2 XL, but the Pixel 2 XL also has a very nice camera UI. I just don't like how you have to reach up here to get to settings versus at the bottom on the OnePlus 6. You got AR stickers here, but the magic with the Pixel 2 XL camera is that when you snap, it's super smart and knows what to do. But the magic with the OnePlus 6 is it gets darn close to the Pixel 2 XL for much less money for the brand new price point. So I took a few photos here to show you here live on camera so you can see some of the difference. So take a look at this first one. With the HDR on the Pixel 2 XL, which is kind of how it comes standard, you can see there's a little more detail in the sign and that's really the big difference is here between the two. It's just detail up close. When you look really closely, the Pixel 2 presents more detail. If we go over here to my dog here, you can see a little bit more detail in his hair. The shadows are a little bit more defined and uh, it's just a little bit more a realistic photo in my opinion. Whereas the OnePlus 6 is really good, but up close it looks a little bit soft. And at nighttime it produces a little bit more noise than the Pixel 2 XL. Here's another photo right here. And you can see, I mean, both of them just in producing some incredible details. So you're not gonna be blown away by the OnePlus 6's camera quality. Here's a selfie photo, for example, a little soft on the OnePlus 6 and a little bit more detailed for the Pixel 2 XL, but still very good on both. But you are gonna be very happy with these photos, and I think that it's pretty close. You know, I'm pretty happy about it. It's pretty close to a Pixel 2 XL, even though it doesn't have that incredible processing like this device. So if you are looking for the best camera on a phone, I still think you want Pixel 2 XL. But man, I don't think most people are gonna have a problem with the OnePlus 6 camera. I would in fact say that it's, to most consumers, it's not even gonna matter at all here when it comes to the camera. So I probably wouldn't make my decision alone just based on the camera. Okay guys, so let's talk about audio really quickly. Mono speaker here for the OnePlus 6, but it gets very loud in comparison to a lot of other phones. Over here we have dual speakers, dual front firing speakers on the Pixel 2 XL, which is a lot of people's favorite but let's see which one's actually louder here. I got my sound meter. Let's go ahead and test the max decibels in three, two, one. Coming up right now. Let's go. 
So in this particular video, this thing maxed out at 107.5, so very loud speaker for the OnePlus 6, but only one which can be covered up easily when you're watching content. You see that? It's pretty much gone. Pretty much gone. So the same issue we had before many phones brought dual speakers exists for the OnePlus 6, so keep that in mind. Now, over here, for the Google Pixel 2 XL, it's over here and here. So we're gonna test the bottom one and then the top one. We're gonna replay the same clip. Three, two, and let's hit max. Three, two, and one. So that was at max volume. Max, you can see. And the Pixel 2 XL got 96.4, so nowhere near as loud as that first speaker or that one speaker on the OnePlus 6. Let's do it again. Now we're going to do it again at the top speaker and see if we get any different results here. Three, two. So we maxed out around 98.8 here, and this is unscientific, but the speakers you've seen based on the decibels are just a little bit less loud on the Pixel 2 XL, but at the same time, when you have two of them, they feel more fuller. So I think overall, the Pixel 2 XL is the more enjoyable audio experience on the external speakers over the OnePlus 6. You do get a louder speaker, but that doesn't make up for not having two. Now, you don't have a headphone jack here on the Google Pixel 2 XL where you do on the OnePlus 6. So it comes down to that. Do you want a headphone jack or better audio experience externally? Then you're gonna have to choose one. For me personally, I do like having those dual speakers on the front when I'm using external audio, when I do have Bluetooth headphones. For, so for me, the Pixel 2 XL is the winner here. But for you, it might be the headphone jack that's the winner for the OnePlus 6. So it really comes down to your own preference. Okay, so let's talk about their calling experience. Now I could tell you right now that I've had better signal strength on the OnePlus 6 over the Pixel 2 XL but just a little bit. Now, when it comes to actual call quality, I find both of these not to be great phone calls for call quality. Both of them, I've heard people tell me multiple times that they can't hear me on the device, but at the same time, I've heard that more on the OnePlus 6. So I think the Google Pixel 2 XL is a slightly better phone call quality, but neither of these would be my first pick for phone call quality. So I wouldn't make my decision of buying one of these if you're looking for the best phone call quality. That would go to the, you know, the iPhone series or the Galaxy series, even the Huawei series has some really Really good phone call quality especially on that p20 pro that's the best phone call quality i've seen in a while but both of these are serviceable they're just not fantastic phones for well their phones so what is the conclusion here between the oneplus 6 and the pixel 2 in my honest experience my honest feelings overall between these phones you've heard it throughout this video and i'll tell you again the oneplus 6 is an incredible value phone here and if you don't want to go a little bit higher in the price point you will get most of what the pixel 2 xl has to offer but at the same time the pixel 2 xl does give you them software support that you don't get on the oneplus 6 you know for three straight years you might only get two on the oneplus 6 and you're going to get them faster for the Pixel 2 XL. So for software minimalism, I think you'll like the Pixel 2 XL. For, you know, maybe you can say a design that feels like an iPhone 10, like a Galaxy S9, a little bit more premium looking, maybe a little bit premium design, you might like the OnePlus 6. For all the speed you would ever want, it's the OnePlus 6. But overall, I think the total package here is a better one on the Pixel 2 XL, but that's just me. You might differ. What are your thoughts? Comment them down below in the comment section. If you have both of these phones or one of them, share them with the community below and let us know which one you would choose. Or if you just have one, share that so people can learn more about the experiences that people are having with these phones. You can't go wrong with either. It's just incredible what OnePlus has been able to do at much less than the price of a Pixel 2 XL.